shower and I ain't got no fucking money. Yeah. You might be able to catch one of them, one of them dudes right there getting gas out of here. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, and we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into this clip right here. This video with over a million views it was about four years ago. Shout out to the man Street for being cordial with this young lady. We're gonna go ahead and jump into some of the comments that was part of this video he handled himself very well throughout the conversation with this young lady at one point she asked him can she get in the truck another point she asked him can she use the cb don't know why another point she asked him can she buy some cigarettes of course he has to turn her down he turned down all of her advances that she tried to do with that said a couple of commenters in the comment session really thought that this young man did very well with the conversation in particular one commenter was like regardless of who or what is or does thank you for not treating her disrespectfully of course he, he treated her cordial and talked to her like she got some sense another commenter says i like how you handle that no disrespect or anything there was no need to be it, it was no need to be at one point in the video she did kind of tensed up a little bit when she asked him to get her some cigarettes and he told her that he wasn't going to partake in her habit but other than that it was it was pretty cool overall another commenter says you were very patient and respectful with her salute to you yes he was ain't no telling what might have happened if he did let this young lady up in this truck anything could have could have probably went down and it was just would have probably would have been an unfortunate situation so in order for him to stay cool and everything he just talked to her let her know what he couldn't do and it was on to the next for this young lady no more wasting time let's get it now hold on oh I don't know yet. You don't know where you're going yet? No. What's you doing here? Just waiting on the load. For real? Yeah. You got a CB radio? Mm-hmm. Can I use it? Yeah, it don't work. The internal speaker don't work on it. Woke up, and I'm still out of my mind. I'm trying to get woken up. And I'm looking at all these crazy people. They, they all right in the morning. He used to, because everybody in Houston went crazy. You know that, right? Mm -mm. I don't even know where I'm at. I really don't. Can I get in? No, I can't let you in. Why? It's company policy. For real? Mm hmm. Uh -huh. They don't see you. Yeah, but if I get a load, then I'm going to have to go too. I can't let you ride now. Okay. Right. That motherfucker ain't came back yet. I didn't take a fucking shower and I ain't got no fucking money. True. And, um, <clears throat> you might be able to catch one of them, one of them dudes right there getting gas out of here. What? <clears throat> like the two trucks right there getting gas, that black and white one. Might be able to catch one of them out now because they're getting gas to leave. I mean, you never know though. Yeah. That's fine. I don't care, no cash. I need some cigarettes. Shit, I can't support you, have it. That ain't no good for you, no way. They ain't no good for you. I quit smoking too. You gotta stop. They ain't gonna do you no good. No. All right, I'm be safe. What do you guys think? You think he handled that very well? I, I mean, I, I think he handled it well with pizzazz, man. 
even though the young lady was like kind of raw looking i mean that wig was not wigging on that head and when she said that she needs to take a shower because she just woke up yeah like i said i would have broke out a shower credit for it hey i i might i don't have no cheese on me because i don't keep cash on me or anything like that but I, I do got a pilot card and I can go ahead and hook you up with a with a shower credit so you can get freshened up for the next person. I'm I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But definitely much respect to this young man, even though this video was about four years ago. So I'm assuming her mission uh was completed back then. But this goes to show you that the ladies of the truck stops be 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 pulling out all stops to get up in that truck with you and the do something with you for some commercial company i'm just saying i'm just saying so just be careful out there i know a lot of you guys like to indulge in that in that type of activity i'm just saying just just be careful man there's a lot of crazy things that's be going on out here in these truck stops man just just be careful who you let up in your truck just make sure everything is hope aesthetic between you and that other person because once that person get up in your truck and things start to go left then it all going to comes down to well, it's going to be your word against her word you could have got her in there and she could call rape or call kidnap or call whatever the case so guys just be careful man just be careful who you who you come around who you mess with who you bring in your truck drivers let me know what you think about how he handled that and how would you handle it do you have a story like that if so get at me lockout men podcast guests at gmail.com uh and too deep like omar make me want to track you down and hit the track hawk with the crowbar i knew we wouldn't go far like we ran out of ethanol now your nosy ass mama want to get involved when i met you you was on the couch with the plastic she need an emmy bitch so dramatic now your baggage got me on edge like jagged fucking up my homes look patrick you swift to jump shift like a chief been crying on my line like Therese. but it ain't all you it's me blaming on the things i went through